Hi, it's Viv here, and this is part two, just introducing the search strategy concept. So in the last screencast, I was just pointing to you in the direction of Medline, which is a global database that searches all medical journals. So there are thousands of journals and publications itemized on here. So instead of searching every single one, you couldn't possibly do that. You can just do one big search in Medline. And really, it's throughout your studies, if you get to use Medline, and nothing else you really won't be going far wrong it is a fantastic tool so the joy of a search strategy is you can do a relatively quick but highly highly accurate search so instead of just fumbling around we're interested in looking at the dogs and detecting cancer so if I just put in canine plus cancer detection now, the trouble is with that, if we just did that as a search, it'd be all right, we could, but we're assuming that the way these papers and each blue link is a publication in um, European Respiratory Journal, Veterinary, Comparative Oncology, so these are all different journals. We're assuming that the authors writing those papers have all used the same keywords, and absolutely that won't be the case. So we've searched for canine, but that's not going to search for anything that says dog in the title. So you absolutely have to get your keywords right first and spend time to think about them. Otherwise, you're just going to miss loads of stuff. It's as simple as that. So this isn't a very accurate search. So if you go to the advanced tab, first of all, I'm going to clear that because that's rubbish, that search. And I'm going to show you how to do it using the search strategy approach. So first of all, I'm going to expand my search. So I need the Boolean term or I'm going to do canine or dog just to keep it simple. But you might want to find more keywords. So I've done that search. There's 308,000 papers. Ignore that. Not interested in looking at them yet. I'm going to do my second search. So now I'm interested in odor or scent oops, or smell. So see what papers have got that as keywords. Again, 32,000. Not even going to look at them yet. And what am I thinking about? Um, cancer detection. If you want it to search for two words, you put them in um, thingies like that. Cancer detection or just cancer. Oh, let's do colon cancer. Okay, just do that search. Again, 97,000 with those as keywords. I mean, you couldn't possibly start looking through those. You'd go bonkers. So um, I've done those searches. But now what I need to do, we're getting to the center of that Venn diagram. We want to find every paper that's looked about dogs and the sense of smell and this disease detection process. So we're linking them. So the Boolean term now is the word and. And also now I don't have to put in any more keywords. Because I can use these Boolean search terms for search, hash one, hash two, and hash three. So that's absolutely all I do. It's so simple. So it's cross-linking those hundreds and thousands of papers that we found. And straight away it's come up with an abstract for us. Okay, let me just search that again. And that's perhaps because that's the only one it's found. So use of canine to detect colon cancer. Well, that's because it's not a very massively researched um, area, I wouldn't have thought. But you can see there how then you can do a really precise and accurate search in four really easy steps. Um, and really, this should be the basis of every piece of research that you carry out as part of your studies. And I use this technique all the time. Now, the great thing about Medline is if you go on to my NCBI, is you can create an account. Um, so just put in a username and password if you like. And what this can do is then save your search for you. And also then you can click to uh, make it rerun every six months. So if you're doing a research project, you can have regular updates and you don't ever have to go back and um, sort your search out because it's been saved here already. So get to use Medline, it's um, a really good resource and this is the basis of your search strategy assignment. If you go back onto the wiki, under module assessment, and if you scroll down to see where you are, you can find details of your search strategy assignment here.